Hello, guys. This is Dr. Lior Bar-El. Uh, so I, I was hit, uh, and right now I'm sick. This is why I sound this way. But I was hit with uh, a lot of requests, and this is about maybe about two to three months ago. No, about a month ago. I think it was about a month ago, um, where people were trying to install whatever version of Windows updates, and it would get stuck, especially the 1803. They had errors like, 0x80706D9, and of course the other one, which is 0x, I'm reading it off here, 8070422. And everybody was having so many major issues with this. Obviously, Windows, Microsoft, you know how they are. Um, and they couldn't update. It would get stuck at like 75%. It would get stuck at like 78%, is 60%, whatever, so on and so forth. And it would uh, make your computer stuck to the point that you had no idea what the hell to do. Um, you, you look at forums, you look at everything, everybody tells you stuff from Microsoft and it absolutely makes no sense. It doesn't work. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't personally have this issue. So I was trying to duplicate it desperately and I duplicated and duplicated and duplicated. Nothing happened. Uh, eventually, finally, it did happen. Uh, one of my client's computers actually had this issue. So I said, you know what? Let me work on this crap and I'm going to see on, on his computer. Let me see what the hell is going on. And I realized something that there was a major issue. Now, uh, there is actually two ways that you can, um, that you can fix this. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to get the, the thing unstuck temporarily. It always kind of resets and jumps up and down. And then I'm going to show you how to actually download this entire, um, this entire damn 1803 or whatever update. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do and how it's going to work, uh, you know, all of that. Now, it's not as simple as you think. I know some people putting up, uh, like always, fake uh, reviews or fake things on on um, on YouTube, uh, you know, and whatever. And then they, they tell you, you know, go get this cleaner thing and they try to make money off you. As always, my channel is self-funded. I, I don't, you know, I fund my own shit. I don't really do things to trick people. That's why I came up with this uh, channel as to release honesty to the rest of the world without, uh, I, obviously I have a job. I don't need this. You know what I mean? So it, it, some people depend on it. So they do all kinds of horrible, uh, you know, things on the, on the net, releasing false information and stuff to actually screw your computer. So we're going to go right into this and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to solve it. Now I do thank you for all the feedback. I have released a ton of troubleshooting videos from on top of everything else I do on the channel. And you guys really like the troubleshooting videos. You guys said it helped you out a lot. And, and I mean, I love it and I dig it and that's why I do it. Uh, so definitely let me know if this helps you out. Uh, definitely thumbs up, subscribe and uh, hit, uh, you know, the bell button for many more other uh, honest reviews to honest troubleshooting videos uh, to come. But I got to thank you guys. Uh, a lot of the feedback that you guys given me actually gives me more energy uh, that even now I'm sick and I'm, I'm actually do, uh, doing this right now. I, I found it and I was like, Eureka, you know, I found the solution and I wanted to finally share it with you. And to all you guys that uh, wrote to me, uh, you know, that, that I haven't responded. I, I have responded, but I haven't put this video out in a month. It's because it actually literally took me a month to figure this out. Uh, so until I got this, uh, you know, duplicated, which was in a client's computer, and now I'm uh, fixing it. So right now it's fixed, obviously. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do, and let's go right into the screen grab. Okay, so let's get into this right now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is in order to prevent... Uh, it from being stuck, uh, your computer from being stuck, we're going to have to go into this one right here. Now, I know before I told you guys, uh, type in uh, gpedit.msc, and then you get the first three and you just disable it so you won't get updates, uh, you know, whenever they want, and you decide when you want to get a good update or whatever. Uh, but what we're going to go into, what could override all of this, is services, okay? So you go right into services, all right, and you look for Windows Update. What is that? Uh, right here. Okay, so right now I put it on disabled because, like I told you, I don't like having it on all the time. I want to see what I'm what I'm doing. I don't like automatic updates. That's just me. Uh, but that's pretty much what it is. Okay, so now I, this is for you know. Obviously, I'm gonna tell you about about 1803. But it works on other updates also, obviously. So if it got stuck or whatever, you'll be able to do it. But the first thing is first, what happens is every time you go into this, right now it's going to say I don't need updates because obviously uh, 
I updated it. So right here, you're going to see that it says that I updated it already, right? Okay, so what happens is if there was an update right now and I put that baby on, on disabled even, okay? Even if it's on disabled, it, the, the computer won't get stuck and it gives you more time to do stuff. But what happens is if it was enabled, it would automatically try to update constantly. And once it gets uh, it gets going like to 76 or 63 or whatever percentage, your computer locks up immediately. Now, even if you disable this on the services, okay, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen later on in the day. That means this will just give you a bigger window of an opportunity to fix your issues, okay? So what happens is, you disable this, and now you're not going to have your computer getting stuck again. But believe it or not, it does turn on from time to time, and you'll, you'll notice it because your computer will get stuck if you didn't do the update yet. Now, the reason why this happens is, be, I'm just going to quickly say that, is because of the fact that, um, basically in a nutshell, it, it kind of has a conflict. So it goes, It you might have installed it before, it closed prematurely because it got stuck, or it could have just happened because there's some kind of issue with the actual, uh, uh, you know, with the uh, with their update in terms of firmware or whatever that you're up, you know, updating, and it just doesn't go really well with anything else. Like this Windows uh, update, the 1803, is like reinstalling Windows. It's a totally, di uh, I mean, it looks the same, everything's the same, but it kind of it, it's not like a regular common update, if you know what I mean. It's it's totally different. It's um, I mean, you have to restart everything, and it actually shows you, it resets even some things, to be honest with you. So uh, the thing is, it's like a complete different update, and I think because of that, uh, it's not like your common update. So because of that, it, there's some conflicts and issues, and that's why it doesn't install right away. So you want to do that to get, uh, you know, go into services and disable it. Oh, sorry, let me get back into this. So let me tell you what you do. Uh, you don't just go into services and disable it, but you also... Where's that damn thing? Oh, here? Okay, you also hit the stop button over here. Then you press apply once it goes through, right? And it's going to be like a whatever, uh, like a a bar or whatever. Once that thing is up, uh, just hit apply and then hit OK. And that'll give you a bigger uh, window to, to work with, okay? The, a couple of hours or whatever, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, do away with this one right here, okay? You're not going to want to go through here, but what you're going to want to do is first... You're going to want to go into control panel, okay? So go into control panel, and then I want you guys to go into system and security. Now, there are two ways that this is going to work out for you, okay? You're going to go to Windows Defender Firewall, okay? Now, this is very, very important. You go into turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Now, here's the important part. If your firewall was on to begin with, uh, the 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 firewall and the, uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, the turn on Windows def Defender firewall and turn on Defender's whatever firewall on, on this one right here. If both of these were originally on, I'm going to ask you to put them off, okay? So that's what happened for my client. His was on already, so we took them off. The second we shut off the firewall, okay? I'm oh, sorry, sorry. For my client, it was off, and then it turned on. My other client on the phone, it was different. It was the other way around. So I told them to just do it like that. So the one that was on, I told them to shut it off. The one that was off, I told them to put it on. Now, once you're done with that, you obviously hit the OK button. Close out of that one. Okay, now what I'm going to ask you to do is, because I noticed in the regular Windows updates, sometimes there's some issues. I don't know if, if it's something to do with the server or something's not um, you know working correctly or whatever. So let's just be sure about this. I'm going to put this in the uh, in the description below this link right here, which is basically HTTPS colon slash slash www.microsoft.com slash EN dash US dash software dash. Uh, oh, sorry. Slash. Oh, uh, yeah. Dash download slash Windows 10. Now, if you're not in the US area, obviously, whatever the area is, just put it in your Bing uh in your Bing or uh, .com or whatever search engine, uh, type in Windows 10 Update Assistant. Okay, now the second you do that, I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so we're going to go into this one right here. Oops. Okay, so we're going to hit that and hit a, this. Okay, so you're going to be into this page right here. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and download tools now. You don't need this crap. 
what you need is the update now. Okay, so the second you hit that, you're going to see it already tells you to save the file. You save the file and you basically install it on here. Now, the second you hit this thing, okay, this thing usually when that's going to happen, this thing, the services will turn off. Or, I mean, will turn back on, okay? So I'm just going to show it to you, but sometimes it doesn't. So once you're ready and you downloaded the update assistant, I'm going to ask you to go into your update and actually uh, enable this. Okay, see, now it didn't because it already updated, but usually it would enable, but not all the time. So just enable it, hit the start. Okay, wait till that bar is down, hit the apply, hit the okay, and then do what it tells you here. Now, what it's going to tell you is it's going to first try to search for any uh, conflicts or whatever to see what needs updating and what doesn't need it. It's totally bull crap. Trust me, you're going to need to do something right after this. After you're done with that, you're going to hit the you know exit button because it's going to restart the computer and install and do its whole crapperoo magic. Now, after it's done, believe it or not, it's not over. Go back into this part right here. Okay, so go back into here, hit the computer right here, hit the open settings, go into update security, hit that check for updates again. You're going to see they're going to have a security update that for some reason doesn't catch on that. Okay, so that's pretty much what you do here. Now, once you are done, it, you know, people said, oh, we had uh, problems with the 1803 and it will install. So it's going to work and you don't have anything to worry about. It won't get stuck anymore. But a lot of people, after they installed, it had issues with Chrome and it's all over the Windows forms. Good luck with Chrome, uh, with a bunch of uh, games that got froze on you. Well, there's an issue and it wasn't really Chrome like Microsoft claims it was. It wasn't all of that. What happens is, is if you are an NVIDIA owner of a graphics card like I myself am, if you're with ATI, you'll see it doesn't happen. You just simply go into here, and you're going to notice, I don't even care if it's updated yet. Most likely it's not updated, but even if it is, your um, NVIDIA experience won't work anymore. Okay, so basically you'll know already there's some kind of conflict and an issue. Like I said, it's like a new Windows being installed. It's a big update. That's what I'm trying to say. So what you basically do is you go into here, I get out of here, Ugh, get out of here, here. Ugh. Ah, sorry. Let me go back into Mozilla. Okay, uh, go to NVIDIA.com. Okay, and this is really how you're going to solve this issue. Go into uh, drivers, like hover around it. It's going to say all NVIDIA drivers or GeForce drivers. So you could go into either or. Now it's going to do this. Now you could, if you have Java script already enabled, you could simply just, uh, you know, have it automatically detect your GPU, and it'll show it to you. If not, just put in your, you know, what what kind of, uh, which kind you have, and uh, just put it in. This obviously is not my card, but whatever. Uh, put whatever the heck you, uh, you know, what's your card, and then start to download it all over again. Now. You don't need to uninstall anything. You could just, uh, even though I'm a big fan of uninstalling, but just install that, put it on your desktop. Once you do that, install uh, the damn, uh, you know, install the, the drivers for your graphics card. Now, once you do that, you'll see that afterwards, uh, I would recommend restarting and, uh, you know, that's it. It won't get stuck. Now, if it still gets stuck, which it shouldn't, but let's say it does, what I'm going to ask you to do is go into... Uh, hit the, uh, you know, hold down the shift button, okay? Uh, go into your windows, go into your power, and while the shift button is still held down, hit the restart button, okay? When you do that, it's going to go into, uh, and still hold the shift button down, wait till it prompts you to go into, you know, troubleshooting, troubleshoot, and then go into uh, sa uh, startup options, and then you'll see once it restarts, you can go into safe mode. Now, once you do safe mode, in safe mode, once you're in safe mode, uninstall your drivers completely, okay? Then go back into Windows and install your drivers again, okay? I know some people have told me they can do it in, in uh, safe mode, install the drivers. I, I can't do it. So just go into that, go into Windows, uh, your regular Windows, and then install your drivers from that file that you just downloaded, okay? After you're done with that and you're, you're finished, then you could do whatever the heck you want. Now, Personally, I felt at first this was and um, this was Windows trying to get you guys to go only on their stupid, um, uh, you know, firewall and all their 
dumb, uh, you know, whatever security system. I, I, I can't trust Windows at all. I do not trust Microsoft for my security. So I have, you know, you, you could download Norton, uh, Kaspersky or whatever. Uh, what was the other one? AVG, any one of those. But uh, also what I'm going to ask you to do is, before you do any of what we discussed, disable your antivirus and your firewall from whatever company and then do what I told you guys to do. Uh, and basically what I thought it was is they were trying to get people to just join their windows, but it doesn't make sense that people even think that because what you could do is right after you're done, go back into your control panel, go back in there and enable or disable your firewall and then start your Norton or whatever, uh, you have and start that firewall and everything. And you have nothing to worry about, but just make sure that you do that right afterwards. But right after you're done, uh, to make sure you don't get, uh, you know, updates that you don't want, for example, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the update folder, disable it again, stop it, wait till that bar goes, hit the apply, hit OK, then shut off, then go into here, okay? Hit GP, G as in God, P as in Peter, edit, okay? Like I showed you guys before, and it helped many of you guys, dot MSC, and you just hit the enter button, Okay, you're going to be prompted with this. You go into computer configuration. You go into administ oh, wait. Yeah, administrative templates. You go into Windows components, and you just look for Windows Update. Okay, and you're right here in Windows Update. You're going to see a slew of things here. It's only the first three, okay? So you're going to go here. You're going to hit the disable. I don't really care because, you know, this one... Right here that I'm using, I'm already, I already disabled the services. I have nothing to worry about. But just in case if you're scared or whatever, because I know some people said they're just, uh, they're happier with the other thing that I was telling you guys in the other video I did. So you just hit the disable button, hit the OK, go to here. Same thing, disable, hit OK. Uh, and then go here, uh, disable, hit OK, and you should be fine. It will never update ever again unless you want it to. And that's pretty much it. So anyways, I'm going to put this in the description below where you can download uh, the uh, Windows 10 Update Assistant. And as always, guys, self-funded here. Uh, any type of trouble, uh, you know, troubleshooting that you guys need me to do, I'll do it. Uh, please, just the only uh, way I ask you, I don't do Patreon or any of that garbage. Uh, the only thing I ask you guys to show, uh, show some love for the channel by sharing this video, subscribing, liking, and hitting that damn bell button. And you'll be alerted of many honest reviews from unboxings, reviews, troubleshooting, you name it. Not to mention the mini series that is coming out uh, that's actually in the works right now that every Sunday I'm releasing it as it is being done as we're speaking, uh, where I'm releasing how to build a gaming computer on the cheap. And then also um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a helmet from beginning to end on a 3D printer, from beginning literally to end to finish product with paint and everything like that. So anything you guys need, any type of troubleshooting, I know it took me a month. But again, I, I, I didn't ignore you guys. Like I said, I'm going to try to duplicate it. And when I duplicate it, I'm going to be coming out with a video. So I finally got a chance to duplicate it, not on my computer, but my clients. They had the issue. And I'm so glad after one month, because I tried everything and I couldn't do it. After one month, one, you know, I actually got a call and I said, I'm working on it and fix this computer. And then I got another uh, call from a client over the phone, I taught him how to do it, exactly like I'm showing you guys, I told him what to do. And I just pretty much screwed around because I already knew what it was. So I said, oh, well, if it's on and it works, and his was already on, where the other guy was already on off, let me try it reverse, and I reversed it, and it worked. So uh, pretty much that's, that's what you're gonna do, and uh, everything is gonna work fine. Please comment below. Let me know if this is working for you. I appreciate all the feedback you guys all wrote to me. You're, you guys are so thankful and, and beautiful, and you told me it all works for you, and you let me know. And I kind of like that because I want to see if it doesn't work. There's probably another issue uh, that's happening right now that I'm probably not um, aware of. And, uh, you know, like it has different types of errors. Now, another thing is a lot of you guys also wrote to me and you said you went in safe mode and tried to install the updates. If you install the updates in safe mode, it will not work. So that has nothing to do with anything. It just will not work in safe mode. Okay, so just don't bother doing that. Do it in this, in the regular mode. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.